Hey guys, happy Monday! Today we're talking about how you can stop judging a book by its cover. So let me be honest about this, okay? Every one of us judges this book by its cover. What I mean by that is that we make assumptions or we have perceptions based on appearances of what we think something is or who someone is. Now these perceptions and judgments are easy uh, to make because it's easy to look at something and draw a conclusion or an opinion. But how that begins to hinder you is that it starts to limit how your interactions or maybe it limits you from getting close or from making a deeper connection with them. So I want to read you a quote and then we're going to expand on this concept just a little bit further and give you a couple different tips on how you can stop judging its book by its cover. All right, so it's actually from The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Waddles. He said, every man has the natural and inherent power to think what he wants to think but it requires far more effort to do so than it does to think the thoughts which are suggested by appearances. To think according to appearances is easy. To think truth regardless of appearance is laborious and requires the expenditure of more power than any other working man is called upon to perform. Now what he's saying here is that judging a book by its cover is easy. When we look at something and we make an assumption, it's easy to assume that. Take me for example, I often get the assumption that I must have came from a well, uh, a great home, that I've had everything handed to me because I'm well put together, I'm educated, I'm smart, I'm successful, I have a lot of things going for me. But when you really get to know my story and you realize that, okay, wait a minute, Bonnie didn't come from a great home and she's worked her way into achieving everything that she has and she had a lot of struggles of getting out of her own way in between, well, now you have enough information to not judge my book by its cover. But my story's out there. It's easier to understand me and not judge by my book by its cover because my story is all over my book, it's all over the internet, it's all over these videos. You get to know me and the abuse that I've endured in my life through that outlet. However, most people we see don't have that. And so what we want to begin to become aware of is when we are uh, thinking thoughts which are suggested by appearances. What I mean by that is when we see someone who maybe is arrogant or is, has everything or is well put together uh, or the opposite, who's homeless, who's on the streets, it's easy to draw conclusions about who that person is or they're not trying hard enough or their ego or arrogant and, uh, and that you don't want to associate with them. But that's an easy conclusion based on just the appearances. When we stop to think for a moment, what's their story? And that's one of my first tips for you today is to ask yourself, what is their story? Now, I've set, referred to this before, but I love Alice in Wonderland. Her and her dad, when, they were, when she was a little girl, had a game they played where they'd come up with six impossible things before breakfast. Now, when you're looking at someone else and you find yourself judging them based on appearances, Become more like Alice and ask yourself, okay, what are six other possibilities of why this person behaves this way? What life or struggles could they have had? What were their parents like? What you know, possesses them to be that kind of person that they are today? By just practicing that flexibility with your mindset, it's going to allow you to, have, um, to less likely judge a book and less likely to make assumptions based on appearances. So I encourage you to go out there today, enhance your compassion, enhance your understanding, and stop judging books by their cover. Hopefully this video has helped you in some way, and until next week, I'm Bonnie Kelly. Did you enjoy this video? Well, we enjoy putting this on just for you. So remember, leave your comment below, and you can always friend, fan, follow, and tweet, or Snapchat us on all social media platforms. We're here for you every step of the way. And don't forget, you can always find out more about me and our amazing programs, classes, workshops, books, all the online courses at bonniekelly.me. Anytime is there for you 24-7. All right, guys, till next week, keep being awesome.